Now we will talk about the complement operation. Here is the rule. Let's say we have an OR function A or B and we want to take a complement of this function. So the result would be A naught and B naught. So what happens is that you take each literals complement but you also take the operands from or to end so same thing is for the end operation if you have a b not then it's going to be a not or b not we took the complement of each literal and then the operation is from and to or so let's do an example here's a relatively long function it has three product terms so I'm going to put another term here and we would like to find the complement of the function so basically we will complement the whole function So the first step is, since we have these three product terms, we can just treat them as like one literal, and we're going to write w x not y complement. And now the or is going to become An end. So x not y not, and again the same thing. This or is gonna be an end, so we're not gonna put an or there, but we will take the complement of each literals, each product terms I'm sorry so now we can use this each complement to affect the uh, each uh, terms in parentheses so it's going to be w not or x or y not then x or y not then w not or x not or z not as you see each each term each literal is complemented so x naught is now x, y is now y prime, and the operands uh, also changed. So this was a the, the uh, first function was at SOP form, but now we have a POS that is product of sums. because now the sum operation and then they there they are ended here's a 
common mistake that I we need to mention here AB the complement of AB is not equal to A not B not this is not true you cannot do this just keep this in mind so the real answer is when we have a B complement it is a not or B not